FT650. The model FT650 is a turbine flow meter. It not only displays the flow rate but also shows the total quantity of water flowing in the pipe, thus acting as an indicator come totalizer. FT650 has a facility to connect a second flow sensor to act as dual channel indicator. It can measure flow rate from 0.05 meter cube per hour to 500 meter cube per hour. The meter can be configured for multiple functions like batcher, flow comparator, rate switch and pulser. In batcher, after a preset quantity of water has passed through the meter, the relay gets energized. This function is very useful for determining the end of service cycle for softening and DM process. In an RO plant, it can be used to find out and control the percentage recovery. In applications like boilers and cooling tower where proper flow rate is critical, the FT650 can be used to operate as rate switch to give low flow alarm. The pulse output from FT650 in pulser mode coupled with any dosing pump can be used for flow proportional dosing. Unboxing Indicator The meter comes with a two-line alphanumeric display. It has an optional computer interface of RS485 or 4 to 20 milliampere output. It has options of both field as well as panel mounting. Sensors Our meter comes with two types of sensors. Full bore sensor and insertion type sensor. Full bore sensors which are available in line sizes from 1 4th inch to 2 inches are capable of handling flows from 100 liters per hour to 30,000 liters per hour. They normally come with plastic BSP male threading. The 1 inch flow sensor is also available with SS trichlor end as well as flanged end connection. Insertion type flow sensor are available for line sizes more than 1.5 inches and can be used for flows ranging from 1 meter cube per hour to 500 meter cube per hour. The unique weld on nozzle design enables easy installation in any MS or SS pipeline with very little downtime. The PVC adapters help in easy installation in case of plastic pipeline. Installation Now that we are pretty much acquainted with the components, let us step through the installation process. Please remember, it is very important to understand the installation process to make the best use of our products. Here we go. Sensor Installation Full Bore Sensors While installing the full bore sensor in a pipeline, please follow the arrow direction on the body. Maintain a minimum straight pipe length of 10 times the pipe diameter at the inlet and 5 times the pipe diameter at the outlet of the flow sensor. It is not recommended to reduce or expand the pipeline immediately before or after the sensor. Insertion Type Sensor before deciding the location for the placement of the fitting in the pipeline, one should ensure a minimum required inlet and outlet straight run. Maintain a minimum inlet straight pipe length as per the following guidelines. 12 times pipe diameter in case of straight run, 15 times pipe diameter in case of reducer, 20 times pipe diameter in case of 90 degree elbow, 25 times pipe diameter in case of 2 90 degree elbow 40 times pipe diameter in case of elbows in different plane 50 times pipe diameter in case of gate or globe valve The minimum outlet pipe straight length must be 5 times the pipe diameter in all the cases While fixing the SS adapter on the pipeline Please see that the notch is parallel to the pipeline. These adapters have markings on the body. Depending on the size of the pipeline, it should be inserted to the required depth such that the turbine reaches almost close to the center of the pipeline. While welding the adapter on the pipeline, make sure that there are no welding burr in the path of the sensor. Insert the sensor through the SS adapter in the correct orientation following the arrow mark. Slowly tighten the nut by gently rotating the sensor body. Ensure that the sensor gets properly locked in the notches of the adapter. Tighten the nut fully to finish the sensor installation. Meter installation The meter is designed to suit both field and panel mount application. 
For viewing convenience, it is always advisable to mount the meter at an eye level. For field mounting, the meter comes with a sensor mount option. The meter has slide grooves on three sides of the enclosure that can be used to slide the plate of the sensor. This ensures that irrespective of the orientation of the sensor, whether it is on horizontal or vertical line, the meter display always remains horizontal. For panel mounting, make a 90mm by 90mm cutout in your panel plate. Slide the meter in and fit it with a side clip to lock it. Well, that was all about the installation process. Now we shall see the wiring connection. Wiring connection. The meter has glands on the hinge cover to enroute the main cables and output wires to their respective terminals. The cable used must be round and of 6 to 8 mm in diameter. While closing the hinge cover, any extra length of cable has to be pulled out of the glands such that the hinge cover can be closed tightly, keeping it IP65. Meter operation. Let us now understand the programming of the flow monitor. A standard flow meter is supplied in totalizer mode. That is, it will display the flow rate and the total volume. However, the meter can be configured in the following modes. Batcher, Flow Comparator, Rate Switch, Pulser. For setting the required mode, press scroll and select CH key simultaneously and enter password 191. Select the required mode with the select CH key. Keep pressing the menu key until the display shows exit and press menu once to save the setting. As mentioned earlier, the meter is available with an optional output of either RS485 or 4 to 20 mA. Let us first understand the settings for 4 to 20 mA. In case your meter has 4 to 20 mA output, the default zero and span setting can be viewed by pressing scroll key. In case the factory setting of zero and span needs to be changed based on process requirement, Press scroll and select CH key simultaneously and enter password 678. Keep pressing menu until it reaches span. Press menu again. Display will show previously set span value. One can change the value using scroll and select CH key. Having changed the span value, Press menu to end and save the setting. Note, the meter has an inbuilt 4 to 20 mA output simulator for easy synchronization with the PLC or any other remote device. To output standard 4 and 20 mA, enter password 420. Press menu key, display will show 4 mA. Press menu key again to output 4 mA. Press select CH key, display will show 20 mA. Press menu key to output 20 mA. Press menu key again to exit. Let us now understand the settings for RS485. For meters with RS485 output, only after setting the device ID and the baud rate, one would be able to communicate with the instrument. Let us understand how to do these settings. Press scroll and select CH key simultaneously and enter password 345. Press menu and the display will show baud rate. On pressing the menu key again, the display will show a previously set baud rate. One can select between 4800 or 9600 by using the select CH key. Once you have selected the desired baud rate, Press menu key and the display will ask for device address. Use scroll and select CH keys to set the device address to the required address.
Press menu twice to save and exit. Please note, the maximum number of device address settable is 99. Troubleshooting If the meter shows no display. Check the input supply with the help of multimeter and ensure it gets required supply. In case display remains off, despite proper input supply, open the instrument and change the fuse with 630 milliampere. If the display remains zero, check whether there is actual flow. If any downstream valve is closed, open the valve and check if the display still shows zero. Then remove the sensor from the fitting and put a blind plug on the line provided with sensor. Check the change in reading by physically rotating the turbine. While physically rotating the turbine, if the display shows some reading, then it implies that there is no fault with the meter or the sensor. It could be that the flow is less than the minimum sensing value required. If you find that the sensor turbine isn't rotating freely, remove the sensor and clean the turbine ensuring free movement of the turbine wheel. While cleaning the full bore sensor, ensure that the arrow is pointing downwards before removing the turbine to avoid the steel ball from getting misplaced. Remove any dirt or any kind of suspended material that may have clogged the sensor turbine. While cleaning the insertion type sensor, Put a blind plug on the line provided with the sensor. You could also change the fitting if the normal flow is less than the minimum sensing velocity. The meter could even show zero reading if sensor wires are not connected in the correct sequence. If the meter shows error in reading, it could be because of the following reasons. Check the direction of the arrow and see if it is in the correct orientation. If adequate straight run is not provided at upstream and downstream of the sensor, then provide straight run as per guidelines. In case of multiple instruments, check that the serial number of sensor and meter is same. The scale factor programmed in the instrument must be same as that engraved on the sensor. Now, how to enter the factor? Enter password 1, 2, 3 using scroll and select CH keys. Press menu key. Now the display will show CH1 constant. On pressing menu key again, display will show a previously set value. Using scroll and select CH keys, we can set the required value. Press menu key. If there is a second sensor connected to the meter, the display will show CH2 constant. On pressing menu key again, it will show a previously set value. Similarly, we can set the required value using scroll and select CH keys. Press menu key twice to save and exit. For any further details or query, Please contact our nearest dealer or visit our website www.embarkwater.com. Thank you.